So one of the reactions that's available to us here, let me get a nice zoom here, is the nitration of benzene. So that's one of the things that we can put onto a benzene ring. We're gonna add an NO2 group. And so the way we do that is with nitric acid and H2SO4. Okay, we need those two things. And when we've done this, what we've added is NO2. And then we have water left over as, as a little bit of a byproduct. So the first step in this is to make an electrophile. So this doesn't happen on its own. This actually needs to uh, undergo a change. So here's nitric acid. It's just this rewritten, accentuating an OH. And what ends up happening here is electrons from here grab onto this H, which kick back to here. And what we're left with now is an NO2 with a H2O attached to it, which as you guys know is positively charged, is an amazing leaving group. So electrons kick over to this, and then what we have here is a positive NO2 plus molecule and water. And this stuff we just essentially lose track of. And this is our nitronium ion. And that is the species that will react with our benzene ring as an electrophile, okay? And this mechanism is very similar to all the ones that we've seen already, and so, what ends up happening here is the electrons from this will grab onto this. And let's see if I can keep all of my things straight here. So the NO2 will end up going here. We've got, and then we've got an H attached here, a positive charge here. Some base that's around will grab onto this H, kicking its electrons back up to here, reforming our uh, aromatic system. You know, we've got our H still there, and then our NO2 is here. So there, there was always an H here as well. Okay, just keeping track of things. So that's our nitration of benzene. It's a fairly straightforward reaction. Now the other one that goes hand in hand with this is the sulfonation of benzene. So it's a similar kind of reaction where when we have um, H2SO4, in the presence of heat, well, what we end up adding is SO3H. Water forms as a byproduct. And again, we need to form an electrophile. So the electrons from this will grab onto this H, giving its electrons back over. So we have this H2O, which is an amazing leaving group. So electrons are going to shift over from this, and what we're left with is our... Um, SO3H, positively charged sulfonium ion. Okay, and it's a great little, um, it's a great little electrophile, so that's what joins us down here in our mechanism. So SO3H is what joins us. So electrons from here, I'm gonna grab onto this, and uh, what we have now is SO3H, and we have an H here, and we have a positive charge here. Some base comes along, grabs this hydrogen, kicks its electrons back up to here, and what we have is our SO3H and BH. Okay, so that's a fairly straightforward reaction. Now, the other thing we want to keep in mind here is that um, we can actually nucleate this and go back to what it was. So we can go, we can desulfonate this by uh, adding just a little bit of acid in the presence of heat. And what we end up with is that plus SO3 and H plus. Okay, so the reaction is more or less reversible. So um, two major reactions, nitration and sulfonation, and I hope that helps you.